try on haul. I've done quite a few try on hauls on my channel. I've been trying to keep you guys in the know on what a variety of different online sites have to offer. And today's site that I'll be featuring is Rose Gal. I had never heard of this company before, but we're gonna see what this site has to offer. I'm not gonna do a huge try on haul this time. It's just going to be a haul of maybe about five items showing you guys dresses, a jacket from the site, and also a jumper. So let's get right into it. So my first item that I'm gonna be showing you all is the dress that I actually wore for my birthday. Many of you guys were probably wondering where I got this dress from. I used it actually on the beach in Ocean City. If you guys have not seen that vlog, I'll link it here so you guys can go check it out. But I wore this particular dress as a cover up because I ordered a size that was too small for me. I ordered a medium and I should have ordered maybe a large. Perhaps that would have allowed for there to be a little more coverage in this area. So it is a wrap dress. However, the wrap part has a great deal of skin out exposed here. And I'm attributing it to maybe I got the wrong size or perhaps this is how this particular dress is structured. So if you are someone that likes to expose a little more leg, then this dress will work for you. But for me, it did not work. So I'm gonna put it on and show you guys how I wore it to the beach. I actually wore it over my birthday sleigh swimsuit that I talked about in another haul video. And I'll link that haul video for you guys. But I'm gonna try it on so you can see what it looks like. Okay guys, so I now have on the dress. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So this is how I wore this particular dress to the beach. It has this exposed area here, which covers enough of my skin for me to feel comfortable if I'm just going to the beach in the initial stages of going along the beach, wearing this in the car to the beach. It worked for me. It is a long maxi dress. It goes all the way down to the floor. I love the continued design from this area here on the bottom of the dress. Now that I actually have it on and I'm looking at it again, I think this might be the intended look for the dress. So maybe I did get the right size. I was hoping that it would have been <laughs> closed here because I wanted to be able to wear this dress to maybe church or um, on a regular outing and feel comfortable, but all this leg here, that's too much for me. It did also come with a bow tie which is a nice little added feature. It also is rather exposed here. So for me, I would absolutely need a tank top. I have on, once again, my birthday sleigh bathing suit, so it works, but otherwise, if I was actually wearing this on a regular, um, on a regular day, I'd actually put a tank top under it because that's a lot of cleavage <laughs> that's exposed and I, I don't prefer that. Another option for this type of dress, if you order a dress like this and it's a wrap dress and maybe it does have this little area that's exposed, if it has a high slit like this and it's too much for you, then feel free to just put jeans under it. This is actually how I'll be wearing this dress. I will not be going out on a regular day in this particular dress unless I have on jeans and a tank top or if I'm going to the beach, then I'd feel comfortable in this particular dress. Otherwise, it wasn't one that I could wear in isolation just by itself. All right, so this is what it looks like, guys. Ugh. Let's pull that up. So this is the design. It has like a paisley, sort of a royal type look to me. It has uh, purples and blues and oranges and it's more so ivory the majority of the dress is an ivory color which is very pretty I feel like it works for any season more so spring summer but I think it can also be an easy transition into the fall type of dress if you're wearing it with jeans yeah so I like it only because I can wear it as a cover-up otherwise I don't think I would have been happy with this one Another item that I ordered from the site is a faux leather jacket. I love, 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 love this jacket. It's so fierce. It feels super soft. It did actually come where 
the collar was more so laid down like this and I did have to put books on it so that the collar could lay back like I desired uh, but after doing that it works perfectly and I feel like it fits me so well I did have to order a large which was not really what I was wanting to do I typically when I order jackets most often they're in a size medium that usually fits me but this particular jacket you need to go up a size so if you're small I'd advise you go up to a medium if you're usually a medium then you should go up to a large but this jacket is so fly it's like a biker jacket I love this little feature what has like the sort of the ribbed look along the sleeve and it also continues that same pattern along the arms and I believe it also has it in the back somewhere yeah so it has it in the back here I can actually zip this up, jacket up it's, it's the perfect size I guess when I've worn a medium I haven't been concerned about zipping this jacket because when I wear leather jackets my concern is really not to zip them up but this one I can actually zip so I got a size large, which is probably the size that I wear, I guess. You should still probably go up a size because from what I gathered from reviews, I'm always looking at reviews, whether it be on the site or on YouTube. I looked at the reviews and an individual expressed that they ordered the jacket, but it was too small. It fit them okay in the arms and in the body of the jacket. However, the shoulders did not work for them. So going up a size is just a good idea. And I like that the pockets have a zipper design, which adds to more so that motorcycle biker feel. It looks really edgy to me. Okay, so I'm going to show you another wrap dress that I ordered from the site. I like the color of it. However, this one also has this really deep plunging neckline, which I wasn't expecting. And I feel like I should have probably gone up a size. I feel like a large would have probably covered more up here. But what I do like about this one is that it does cover this area here. So I don't have all this exposed. I'm going to try it on and show you guys what I mean. Okay, so here's the next wrap dress. I do love that this dress actually has a hole here so that I can actually pull the bow tie through. I feel like that's a great feature for this particular dress because it lends itself to you being able to gain weight and you don't have to worry about this part already being pre-constructed and so you have to pull it over your head like the last dress I actually had to pull over my head but this one opens completely and allows for you to be able to pull this fabric through the hole and wrap it around. That's a great feature about this dress but I do not really like the neckline this is pretty uh hmm interesting in that if i didn't have this tank under here all this would be exposed i don't understand why there's so little fabric here and i thought maybe if i got a large that maybe it would have covered a little more i don't know if that's the case or not but i feel like a medium fits me well in the arms and in the lower area i do love that I don't have this huge slit like in the last dress, which is great, but this area here, complete disappointment. I like when the wrap dresses cover a good amount in this area, so then I actually don't have to put a tank top under it. But lately, the wrap dresses that I've been ordering have not <laughs> been the typical wrap dresses that I'm desiring or that I'm accustomed to, where I don't have to actually put a tank top under it. Because I just feel like when you're having to put a tank top under a wrap dress, then you, it's sometimes hard to find a good color that works with the dress. I think this navy blue one works, but I would have preferred not to have to put anything under it. But that wasn't the case, but I think it still works. from the site is this striped jumpsuit this is one of my favorite pieces it is a backless design 
it does have like a middle strap here you can see it I guess you'll see it a little more when I put it on but I love that it has wide legs and it's not these pants aren't long they don't go all the way down to the ankle but maybe mid leg which is pretty awesome and it also comes with a bow tie what I did not like about this particular jumpsuit I was so excited about it when I initially put this on however the zipper I had to get replaced because I had this jumper on for maybe like a good five minutes and noticed that the, the zipper was not a good quality zipper when I got it but I did have another zipper installed into this particular um, jumpsuit because I loved it so much but yeah just pay attention to that that's something that I didn't really care for with this jumper but I'm gonna try it on so you guys can see what it looks like okay so I have the jumper on what I'm very much so a fan of is this neckline I love the top of this particular jumper and the design I think the colors are really pretty and I love where the bow sits on this particular jumpsuit because it kind of takes away from any stomach insecurities you might have uh, I don't feel like it really draws a great deal of attention to your midsection but it's structured in such a manner to where it kind of singes in the waist so it creates more of a flattering look for any build so I really like that and the back detail I think it's really really nice you would have to have on a special type of bra for this particular jumpsuit actually it helps open it up okay I think I got it yeah so that's how it looks when it's all zipped up I think it's so fly I love these pants I like how flowy they are the material is thin but not too thin to where you can see through your your um, your outfit the lower leg it doesn't come all the way down to the ankles which is pretty awesome so it makes this outfit more so better for the spring summertime you can still wear it in the fall if you like <laughs> dress that I'm going to show you guys is my favorite item that I ordered. It's an off the shoulder and you guys probably know like I was going to love it because it's off the shoulder. That's like one of the best features of this particular dress and I also love the ruffle design along the lower sleeve and the ruffles also continue at the bottom so you have this layered type of effect at the bottom. The only thing you have to keep in mind if you order this dress is that it does run very small. This is actually an extra large and that's the only size they had in stock when I ordered this dress but I wanted it so bad that I said I'm just going to try it out. Hopefully the extra large works for me. Fit me perfect. The extra large fits like a glove. <laughs> like It's like it was designed for me. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay so here's the next dress. It's my favorite. I love this color. I think it looks really nice against my skin tone. I like that this area in the middle has an elastic band. I could literally pull this up over my hips rather than over my head so I'm not messing up my hair, which is a good feature. And it's really long. The underlining comes all the way down past my knees, which is awesome. I don't really care for dresses that have the underlining is like mid thigh or like super short. It's not consistent with the length of the dress. I love that feature about this one. Be great for like a brunch, maybe a bridal shower, date night. It's a number of different places that you could wear this dress. I think it's awesome. So yeah guys, this is the last item 
I hope that you all enjoyed this try on haul from Rose Gal. If you tried this website, leave your comments, your feedback, maybe your review of the website down below. Let me know what item you like the most. This one was my favorite, to be honest. And also that biker jacket and the jumpsuit. Okay, I didn't really have a favorite, but the two wrap dresses were my least favorite. So leave your comments and feedback down below. I look forward to hearing from you guys. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you all in my next video. All right guys, bye.